what's up Gemini and thank you guys so much for tuning in okay guys this month is flying at least for me it is but this is going to be your mid-month spread and this will be from December 15th to January 15th so let's see what is going on with the sign of Gemini from December 15th to January 15th What is happening with the sign of Gemini? December 15th to January 15th. Alright guys, okay, so your energy is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I see this as a very positive card because if there was any sort of mental traps that you put yourself in, anything that you just felt really stuck on, any negative thoughts that you had about yourself, this is a time where you guys are really getting out of your heads about it, okay? Um, you could be seeing a situation clearly for what it is and with the Hierophant in the reverse, you could have gotten yourself caught up in something that was unconventional, something that may not have worked out, and something that you may have had to let go of, okay? For some of you, I see you, um, there could be somebody that you drop due to a third-party situation, okay? Or there could be a situation here where you make a decision that you celebrate, okay? So let's see how this is going to play out. Now, the first card that you guys have for your past is the Seven of Cups. So, with the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of illusions that you guys have, you know, in a certain situation. And you're not seeing it clearly for what it is. This card also means that you could have a lot of, you know, a lot on your plate, a lot that's going on, a lot that you have to tend to. But what you really want to focus on with the Seven of Cups is you have to find what's most important to you work on that first you know tackle that first and then go with you know the least important things okay now we have the justice card in the reverse so there could have been an injustice that happened here where you or the person that was involved was just kind of blind to it you know was just having a cloud over their face Right? And this could be anything. It doesn't have to be cheating. It could be, you know, someone stealing, someone lying, maybe a court proceeding that didn't go in your favor. And we have the hanged man. So this was something that really put you in a sense of limbo and stagnation, not knowing how you want to move forward. And with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, you know, you guys have to be careful because in the past, if the situation was already bad to begin with, you might have just added fuel to the fire, okay? Because with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, this is going to be someone who's really upset over a situation. And they're really going to, you know, get in those last few stabs. And with the Four of Pentacles, I feel that there was someone or something that you really guarded yourself again. But, you know, with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, there's this very reckless energy that I feel in your past. Now, the next card here is the Page of Swords in the reverse. So fighting, arguing, you know, not seeing eye to eye with a person, um, you know, this is a card about somebody who has a case of verbal vomit, you know, they say things and they're going to instantly regret it right after, okay, and this could have been in reference to a new start that was happening, something that emotionally fulfilled you, but maybe there was people around you that, you know, were making it problematic, or maybe you yourself were angry because, you know, things didn't, uh, you know, develop the way that you wanted it to. We have the world card in the reverse. So for some of you, there could have been a new start, okay, with a person or a situation that you feel that you have unfinished business with. Now, we have the king of wands in the reverse. So this could be the energy that you guys are having where you're talking to more than one person, okay? Or maybe the person that, you know, you were having a new start with that you weren't over, they had other people or they were unreliable to a certain extent. For some of you, this could have been a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, okay? But for others of you, it could have been you just talking to a lot of people, just being unstable, um, you know, not really sure who you want to be with if this is in terms of love, and it's just causing a lot of chaos, 
okay, with the five of wands. So this is pettiness, this is fighting, this is arguing, this is, you know, competition. All right, and we have the six of cups in the reverse. So I feel that you guys just choose to part ways with this person, you know, because it was just a situation where they felt or you felt very unstable. It wasn't something that was bringing out, you know, your best aspects. All right, too many secrets here. In the present moment, the first card is the seven of wands in the reverse. So there's something that you've put a lot of effort into that you stood your ground with uh, that you stood your ground with for a long time. But at this point, it's just something that you feel that you have to give up on. And with the King of Swords, you guys come into your power, you guys wake up and then you cut it out. Okay. And we have the Sun card in the reverse. So there could have been unexpected information that came out where you're just like, you know what, this has to go. And you just wake up, you cut this thing out, you move forward. Okay, it could have been regarding um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But with the Six of Wands, there's victory and you not putting effort into it anymore. Okay. Now the next card that you guys have for the present moment is the Four of Swords. Okay. So you're really taking a step back. You're really taking a break and you really want to analyze what's happening. You know, how did I get to this point? Why did I get to this point? Why didn't things work out in the past? Moving forward, what can I do to avoid any of this sort of drama? All right, and you have the Empress in the reverse. So you don't allow this thing to move forward. Okay, or you put a halt on it moving forward which is the best thing that you could do here with the judgment card, okay? So the cards are saying it's good judgment to not let this thing go on. So you guys are moving away from something that you may have been, you know, emotionally attached to. The last card that you guys have for your present moment is the Ten of Pentacles. So although there's a loss that you may be feeling by letting this thing go, nothing but good abundance is going to come into your life. Okay, or something that you just feel really good about. This could be money coming in as well. You know, maybe you guys getting a raise at work or a new position that's going to pay more. Christmas bonus. Okay. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things take a good change. And I say this all the time. When you guys have someone toxic in your life, just anybody, when we have toxic people in our lives, it's going to just go into every area of our life, even if it's something we don't see happening. It is happening. So the second you remove that serpent, the second you remove what wasn't helping you to move forward, things are going to go right again, okay? Because you're getting a negative energy away from you. And we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse again. So you've gotten out of your head, you see things for what it is, and you're able to move forward and do big things, okay? That's awesome. But with the Nine of Swords, you're in your head a lot. But this is a mental card. No matter what you think in your mind, you know there's good things happening okay and it's something that you're going to come to realize so that make sure that you guys can put your minds in a positive you know um in a positive gear where you're able to just focus on what's beneficial as opposed to anything that you may have lost moving forward the first card that you have is the nine of wands so this is looking into the future this is you guys really standing your ground with the situation but there's something here that you may find to be exhausting okay but you're really standing your ground and there's a strong sense of resiliency with you guys. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. So, if there's something that's going good, especially in terms of work or business or just something new that's developing in your life, you could be working hard, standing your ground, and then there's something worth celebrating there. Okay, with the Three of Cups. And then we have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So, for some of you... It may be something that you're celebrating, but maybe it's going to be something that you have to do on your own where there's not going to be somebody that can help you with this. Or for others of you, you're standing your ground with a situation where there's a third party involved and it's just not going to work out because somebody here is just not being appreciated. Somebody here is not, you know, getting what they deserve out of the situation. Okay. There's secrets. Somebody's dealing with uh, something that they're withholding, okay? A pain that they could be withholding. Let me get one more card here. The moon card, okay? So it's like you're standing your ground with something, but there's a secret that comes out possibly about promiscuity, 
possibly from a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But it could be from any sign. It could even be you guys taking on this energy. And I see you guys releasing this burden. Okay. The next card we have is the Ace of Wands in the reverse, where someone or something is getting cut off. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, where you're just being patient with the situation, seeing how it's going to ride out, but you're letting it go. And with the Strength card, there can definitely be a sense of debilitation that you feel, but you're guarded. Okay, you're protecting yourself at this point. Okay, and for a lot of you, you could be angry and feeling, you know, like things went out of control, feeling like it was just a really reckless situation. But there's someone or something that gets rejected here with the Five of Pentacles. The last card that you guys have for the future is the Two of Wands. Okay, so there is a path that comes into your life that you guys are extremely passionate about that you do go down. So let's see what's happening. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And we have the King of Cups. Interesting. So you might just take a different route altogether. You know, it could be a new person if this is in terms of love. It could be another person that could help you with work or help you with an opportunity that you're trying to build. But the most important part is the person that was not serving you gets cut out and gets replaced. And I'm not saying that, you know, this is going to be the love of your life or anything. But you guys find something that's more feasible for you and you go on that path. Now, you have the Six of Pentacles, so this is something that brings that balance back into your life, okay? So, yeah, something's not going to work out. There's going to be a situation or a person that you're going to have to dismiss, you know, within this month. But there's still another path, okay? Not all is lost because you still have another way of getting whatever it is that you want. That's solid. Good stuff, guys. All right, so let's see what the advice is for this month. Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. What is the guidance that the sign of Gemini needs from December 15th to January 15th? All right. Rebirth. Wow. Spring Equinox. Let's see what this is about, guys. You thought this passage you have been through would never end. Just as certain that the light of the world fades every few months, it makes its return and the earth rejoices. The fresh breath of spring sweeps away the cobwebs acquired from the absence of the light. The light is now obviously increasing as nature begins to emerge in all her many forms shapes and colors that remind us of the continual cycles of earth mother this cycle of rebirth you're experiencing follows a considerably challenging time any tears you may have shed have cleared the way for what has been gestating which is now ripe and ready to emerge that which no longer serves you needs to be put to rest so that a freshness and newness of spirit can make itself known to you Sometimes birth can be painful, particularly in that passage just before delivery, yet what emerges can be fresh and beautiful. Be with the emergence of this next cycle with faith and grace. I can't think of a better card for you guys to get, especially, you know, going into the new year. Yeah, there's things that you have to cut out. There's things that didn't work, but you guys are really standing for yourself and you're choosing to put yourself first. And to take a path that you know is going to be best for you. So what's happening? You know, you're at the point now where you have to look back and you have to reflect. Okay? And this is just something that I want every sign to really understand. You know, what has happened in this past year for me? Who are people that have helped me grow? Or helped me grow, rather. Who are people that have held me back? Okay, what have I done to put me closer to the alignment of my goals? And what have I done to hinder that alliance that I have with my goals? Okay, and you're going to have to see what's going to be best for you. And I feel that you guys are doing that effortlessly. People that just didn't work for you, situations that just didn't work for you, you're not going to fight it. You're not going to be holding on to anybody's leg as they're trying to, you know, go away and you're dragging yourself on the floor. No, there's none of that. 
if it's something, you know, there's a lot of things in life that we really have to work hard to get. But there's also certain relationships and things that you, we shouldn't have to put so much force and energy into. All right. If you feel that you constantly have to be on someone's ass or you constantly have to be on top of a certain situation or a person just to get, you know, half of what it is that you want. Ask yourself if you have the time for that. OK, ask yourself if it's going to help you to become the person that you truly want to be. So I see that that's what you guys are doing. OK, you're cutting out people that don't work for you. You're cutting out situations that don't work for you. And now it's like because you were able to be strong, even if it pissed you off getting there. Now you have this clear path, okay? And, you know, with the readings that I've done, there have been troubling times for Gemini, you know, within this year. And as opposed to taking those things and looking at it as a loss, I always think that it's a gain. Because it takes, again, getting a lot of what you don't want in this world to be able to stand up and fight for what it is that you do want, for what it is that you do need, okay? So what have these people taught you? If you went through a bad breakup, okay, if you, you know, had an injustice done to you in any way, shape, or form, how did it happen? What could you have done differently? If it comes into your life again, are you going to be able to see the warning signs and the warning flags? Okay, because situations tend to keep arising until we learn the lesson from it and we learn to nip it in the butt. Okay, so that's what's going to have to happen. You have to ask yourself, how am I going to move forward? Okay, and what can I do to avoid the shit that I've went through in the past? When you guys through, when you guys go through something hard, don't see it as something that's going to destroy you. You have to see it as a blessing because it makes you aware of things that you weren't aware of before, you know? And once you've been fooled once, don't let the same person fool you twice. Don't let the same situation fool you twice. Okay, you guys are aware now. You guys know more of what you want. You're more in the direction. If things didn't work out, it just wasn't in your divine purpose for it to work out. So you guys have to focus on what does work for you. And that's where you have to put your energy. Because with the universe, the universe is very giving, but we have to learn how to demand things from the universe. Okay, and I was saying this in another video that the things that we focus on, whether it's something that we want or what we don't want, is what comes into our life. So if you're upset, if you feel that you can't be loved, if you feel that you're not going to get a good job and that's the energy you constantly have, the universe has no choice but to listen because you are its master. All right. So you have to learn how to change your thinking. You know, I know that hurt me in the past. I know the situation didn't work out, but I know I'm strong. I know I can be a leader. I know that I'm beautiful. I know I deserve love. And just keep telling yourself, guys, even if you don't believe it, just keep telling yourself and telling yourself and telling yourself. And one day you're going to wake up and it's going to be like, oh shit. And next thing you know, you have a partner who's really down for you. You have a job that's flourishing because you learned how to change that train of thinking. So you have to ask yourself, you know, especially if there's a lot of negative things in your life. And this is something, you know, a friend of mine, love her to death. And I tell her this all the time. I'm like, you're probably one of the most negative people I know. And she said, Lisette. Can you do a reading for me because I want to know why these things happen to me? I said, I refuse to do a reading because I know why they're happening. You are so fucking pessimistic. You're always complaining. You know, you always think that the world is against you. So what is the universe doing? It's listening to you and it's making what you feel to be true. Okay? So if you guys feel like a lot of bad things have been happening, honestly, take a step back and ask yourself. You know, reflect. What have I done? Okay? In terms of my thinking. Have I had positive thinking? Have I always been happy and then these things just fall into my lap? Or was I extremely negative throughout that time? Is that why I kept attracting it? Uh, attract, attracting it? And you have to also keep in mind that the vibe that you have is the vibe that you're going to attract. Okay? So if you guys are feeling petty and pessimistic and there's bad things happening, you're going to have that sort of person or those sort of situations, those sort of bosses that just kind of creep into your life. And you don't want that. You don't want venom in your life. You want things to be positive. So really focus on the future, this new path that's going to happen to you, what's going to be most beneficial for you and how you're going to make it happen. All right. If you change your thinking, you change everything, guys. You guys are in power of your destiny. OK, anything that you want is within reach, but you just have to think about it in the right way awesome reading and i really hope that you guys are going to have a bomb time you know just hanging out with family doing whatever it is you're going to do for the new years now 
Uh, for those of you that do want personal readings, it is a three to five day wait right now. Again, I do have an app called Instant Go. It's for iPhone users only right now. But once you download it, you can just go ahead and ask me a question. Say, hey, Lisette, you know, how's this interview going to go on Friday? Okay. And with that, you know, I'll be able to pull some cards. But if you guys do choose to use that and you do text me, just make sure you get straight into your question because it will charge you, you know, for everything that you send me. Um, if you guys just want a recorded video, which is the most popular option because you always have it, you could always refer back to it. Um, and you'll have a private link that I send you where you'll always be able to access it. Um, you can do that as well. I leave everything in the description in terms of, you know, the sort of uh, services I offer, the readings I offer. So whatever you guys need, I'm here for you. But other than that, Gemini, good stuff. And I hope that you guys go into this new year with a bang. Take care, guys. Love you.